Hello. Yes, good morning, everybody. I hope you can hear my voice and also see my screen clearly. So I'm going to start off my analysis uh, with the chart on my screen. This is uh, the British pound dollar. So on this chart, basically we are in an active downtrend. Uh, I'm going to use this indicator for analysis, uh, the one we are having currently. We have a very good level here. We have a very good support. This was uh, December last year. Between uh, 3rd of December to the end of December, there was a very good support here. The price went up. It came back down. So a few days ago, the price broke below the same low. So as we're speaking now, uh, the price is here, but our line is somewhere here. So we do expect price to, of course, pull back to the upper side, at least up to this level here. So if you're on this chart as we're speaking now, you should expect price to pull back, touch this level here before it can continue to the lower side. So we basically just expect to pull back up to this level where we're we'll looking for a sell position. Our stop loss is above the high of this candle here, the high of the candle which broke below this level. Uh, our target, our target is fixed at this price here. So technically we are in a sell. Uh, as it is now, I don't expect the current day scandal to actually close above 1.31975. So I'd like to see a pullback up to this point where I look for a sell position, expecting the sell to push price down at least up to this point here, 1.27477. The next symbol The next symbol is uh, euro usd so usd so far has also been an active downturn the price has has moved significantly to the last side uh, there was a pullback which was there yesterday we had a pullback up to around 1.11281 as we're speaking now the price actually bounced off from that level and is headed to the lower side so as it is as we're speaking now we are looking forward for more sell positions we're expecting sellers to continue to push price down at least up to 1.08504 1.08504 so we have a pending sell limit this area here 1.11281 our stop loss is above 1.124043 then our target is at 1.08501 so we'll pick a sell order here this is our stop loss and then this is our take profit uh, the next symbol is the US dollar Japanese yen so the US dollar Japanese yen so far we are in an uptrend we have a level here we have a very good resistance there uh, you can see that the previous this candle which is uh, this one here actually broke above that level 116.115 115.980 those are the two levels the first one 116.119 the next one is 115.980 so while the price is held above these two lines we expect price to continue to the upper side we'd like to see some pullback back to this point here before we can pick from pick more both buy positions so we'll have a pending buy limit our stop loss is at this point we're expecting price to extend itself much higher The next symbol the next symbol is gold so gold so far the price has been in an active uptrend if not for uh, this candle here the one which you had i think this was on thursday on, on tuesday if not for this candle the price has been in a very very good uptrend so the fact that this candle is bigger than the previous one could be a possible indication that this may be a correction therefore the price may continue to pull back down and uh, touch this level here so we may see price uh, continue to correct itself to the last side uh, come back down at least up to this point here so look for continue looking for more sell positions expecting price to extend down it may come down and even touch this point before we can continue to the upper side 
the next symbol is the sp500 so with the sp500 so far we are in a downtrend this is uh, some downtrend based on this indicator but in truth i don't expect price to continue downwards because if you check the monthly chart as it is you can see that we are all green which means the price is in an uptrend so i recommend you look for buy positions where the price is now have your stop loss below the low of this candle have your stop loss below the low of this candle 4052.8 so we'll buy here we have our stop loss there uh, the next symbol is the brent oil so the brent oil continues to move to the low side this is really really interesting you remember yesterday uh, this was on wednesday this week we had price here and we said that the price will likely bounce off from this point and head straight to the last side we had a level there we also had a level here so we said that the price may likely come back down and close below 97.523 the price may come back down and close below this point and extend downwards or the price may sell off as it is it is now so if it closes below this low 97.523 that would mean we are continuing downwards at least up to 83.905 uh, if it could close below this point then we're down up to this point but if it pulls back and closes below this point 115.980 then we may see sellers come in at least up to this point here the other place where we may sell from is 125.912 so we either sell it there up to this point or we sell it here up to this point or we sell it here up to this point here so thank you very much uh, that should bring us to the end of today's analysis we'll meet again tomorrow at the same time so we'll meet again on monday at the same time thank you and see you